Johnson. My name is Brent Johnson. Along with me tonight, boy, we got it's exciting tonight. We got a former graduate. You believe that you're actually officially graduated now because you, after at September 1st, you're officially no longer a Bacon County High School student. That's the official day, Caleb. This is Caleb Griffin with me. He is now he's been a student at uh, Abram Baldwin College, ABAC, uh, yeah. in Tifton, and we'll talk more about that uh, as the game progresses. But we are we're not live. We're recorded from Berrien High School. Lost some train of thought. I'm going to have to take a quick break. Looks like one of the coaches needs me real quick. Uh, Caleb, talk a little bit about what's going on. Um, we've got another special guest tonight, Coach uh, Sky Keck. He's going to be uh, coming on board as we commentate this game the best that we know how uh, to you. Uh, coin toss is going on, as you see. Caleb, talk just a little bit. Let's see what these coaches need up top. All right. Yes, sir. Uh, so we're here live, not live, recorded here at Berrien County High School. You going you gonna to fill in here, Kick? Well, you know, Brent wants to act like he's a big deal and everything. <laughs> yeah, these coaches need me. And yep, it, that's right. I mean, he thinks he's important. Uh, but. Just then we had um, Antoine Fuller, uh, Aiden Wright, and Nikozi Batten as our captains for tonight. Uh, don't got a roster for their side, so I don't know who any of their guys are. I got a clue. But the Raiders are now coming out of there little tent flag thing over there. I don't know what that's called. I, I know I've done it several times. Uh, it's it's the run-through is what I, I think the official name of it is. Uh, Caleb, real quick, I apologize for that, folks. Um, again, thank you for joining us on the NFHS Network, powered by Play on Sports, but brought to you by BCTV Red Raider Broadcasting. Um, Sky is going to step in with me during the second quarter, and then I'm going to turn it over to these young bucks uh, the second half. Um, I want to thank some sponsors real quick, uh, first and foremost. My 2022-23 school year title sponsors is Coley Electric and Plumbing Supply, Family Vision Care, Andy Cawthorn Auto Sales, and Burt CPAs. All right, Caleb, uh, we are in Berrien, at Berrien High School in Nashville, Georgia. It's about 100, uh, not 100, about an hour and 10 minutes from, from the center of Alma. Um, not too bad over here. Pretty good looking field, nice stadium. We're just bragging on the... Uh, it's, it's rare where we go to a place where there is a, a an actual booth on the visitor side. It's very yeah. comfortable, air-conditioned, yeah. enclosed. It's really nice. Uh, thankful for that. For There's some potential rain sometime between maybe 7.30 and 8 o'clock is, is what it showed on the radar. Um, but we're getting ready to kick this thing off. Bacon County 0-2, but by a slim margin, you yes. know, two, two scores. Um, you know, we're a young team. I don't know if you all discussed that just yet, but – uh, but we've improved both games. I know you've been at, at both the Lanier and uh, last week's home game yes. uh, versus Screven. Um And I think we've played continually a little bit better competition between those two teams, and we have gotten better from week to week. Um, I've, I've seen a little bit on this team on film. They look good in uniform. they got some horses on their defensive line. I'm looking at their fence over there, and they've got enough seniors to, to start one way and start half the other way without the rest of them having to even touch the field. That's the truth. So, you now we see we see these players, uh, our guys lined up, going to kick off. Uh, they're players, good-looking athletes, uh, as I look down on the field. Yeah, they've got some large players out there on the field. I don't see any of them that are uh, visibly smaller than the other. Also, on, uh, before kickoff, I want to thank uh, Bennett, Bennett and Johnson, specifically Daniel Johnson, for being once again the title sponsor for the football season for our broadcast. A uh, huge supporter of the Booster Club, the, uh, the Touchdown Club, uh, Red Raider Touchdown Club. I want to thank them. So here we go, getting ready for this kickoff. As Cozy Batten uh, will be doing that for the Raiders. Uh, it seems like we have more of a pooch type approach uh, these last couple games. We'll see what we do here. And that's a little bit more than a pooch uh, toward the sideline to see if we can't that was right where tackle him. He's right up the middle, and that's usually the place where you're most chased, vulnerable. Chase down my number four, um, uh, Austin Reynolds. He's uh, I tell you, Reynolds got his he his name was called a couple times at the times. end of last game. Uh, he's the birthday boy today too. I'm pretty sure. It's awesome. His birthday today. Uh, but yeah, that. If he didn't make that tackle right there, we was we was left up to the kicker. And yeah, we were down six to nothing. Yeah. I mean, I'm just being that honest. Was a, that was a nice open field tackle by him there. And now we're playing defense here. Uh, Berrien 
on the ball. They've got a sizable <laughs> offensive line <laughs> yeah. right there. Wait do you see their D-line. They're, that, they're huge. That's some beef on that O-line right there. Yeah. Uh, in the gun, got a bit of a – I, I want to say that's like a, a wing almost there. Outside – Outside zone type stuff. Oh my lord! Good stiff arm. We got to wrap him up as uh, the cornerbacks uh, got about a five yard gain there, um, and we're pretty close to the field here, which is pretty cool. I can actually see the numbers to the uh, both teams' jerseys, uh, and uh, yeah, you, you can see the now that they're on this side, they're horses. There's some, some big guys up front. Yeah, there's a lot of beef up front. Which we've got some sizable guys we on do. our side. We've got Keyshawn playing. This interior D lineman, we've really got a we've really got a three two with a walk down. So really it's like a three three and our, our outside linebacker. Back to pass and we're in down. trouble. And that's a reception. That's, that's a man. great great play by the receiver. That's nice play action there. You don't usually see those that early in this game. No. The defenders they they were beat early on the, when the pass was thrown, they were able to close. I think the ball hung in the air just a little bit longer, but that good receiver, he was yeah. just able to kind of reach up over and, and catch the ball. Great yes, play. Sir. That's right. What did the uh, – I've not seen anything or heard anything about them. Are they a, are they a primarily run team or – It's it's a spread type offense like you see there, that spread option yeah. right there. And a little quick back, got to tackle him. Nobody's wanting to wrap him up in that first five yards. We had a we had a Keyshawn Holmes. He got back there, but they ran away from him. Yeah. There's no way he was going to catch that. Keyshawn's 50. Is that correct? That's right. His number's yes, 50. Sir. That's right. They had to give him a number that he couldn't go out for passes this year. <laughs> <laughs> well, he was running kickoffs back the last two games of the football season last year. That's when we were down yeah. to about 22 that's, players. That's right. He, he's, he's a he was doing athlete. a little bit of everything. Uh, Might have been a hold on that outside, but. Yeah, I don't have uh, a roster for. Uh, yeah, that's what I told. Uh, that's what I told Kick earlier. I was like, I don't have a roster for them, so I have no idea who these guys are. Yeah, we, we'll call a number. If once in a while, we might be able to. We'll raise these windows, and we can hear the. The, the field announcer might be able to pick up on some names there. Another handoff up the middle, and he's going to trot in for six to start the game. That was a heck of a uh, kick slide. Um, I done lost all Drive. my terminology. No, nah, I'm talking about the left guard there, the way he, he uh, pulled right there. It was a skip pull. That it, there it is. Okay. I got it, yeah. Well, you got the – Very nice skip pull right <laughs> there by him. He, he didn't even touch anybody. There was nobody for him to get. He just – Led that guy right into the end zone there. Yeah, I think he was untouched. I, I couldn't tell if they, they were about on the three or four yard line when they scored there. Yeah, nice. They got the muddle huddle here. I, I hated to. Yeah, swinging gate. Ten minutes and one second remaining on the clock. So they took a, a minute fifty nine off here in the first formation. quarter. We got a straight on kicker. Yeah, a toe kicker. I believe he missed. Yeah. Yes, he did. Six to nothing now. 10-0-1 left in the first. And Bacon are going to get this kickoff here. All right, we're going to take a quick break, honor a sponsor, and be back in just a moment. You finally found the perfect car in racing blue. You even got them to throw in the LED fog lights for free. Auto Owners insures your car because some people never learn to parallel park. That's simple human sense. Keep going. More. No, no. All right, thank you uh, for joining us again tonight on the NFHS Network. My name is Brent Johnson along with Caleb Griffin. Former Bacon County High School student. I made a big deal of that earlier, really quickly. <laughs> uh, he, I don't think he knew that, but uh, by the state of Georgia uh, and the Department of Education, when you graduate in May, you're you're still considered a student until September 1st uh, after the summer. I didn't know it was that late in the year. Yeah. I thought after I graduated, they were through with me. Well, they are. They're through with you. I, 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 I'll maybe go into the details, a little more details of why that is. Um, uh, on the, at our next break, remind me. 
here's the kickoff after the the score six to nothing here ten oh one remaining. I'm, if I'm not mistaken, this is a different formation that in our kickoff return right here. The, we may be expecting a roll up the middle right here. Another toe kick. Interesting bounce there. He's going to return. That's uh, number four. No, that was number that number two. Been number one, right? That should have been a. Uh, should have been Travion. It yeah. is. Number one. I'm sorry. Return, I can't man. see the numbers, folks. I apologize. Um, Travion Richardson. I will say I see uh, Caleb Moore's on the sideline today, not dressed out. I'm not sure. I guess he's 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 got a, injury. an injury. Yeah. yeah. He's got a, an injury that's, is, that uh, he should be back next week. Okay. All right. Got you. So we got a new center snapper this, uh, this tonight. Who are we – do you know? I do not know. I know at one point Tyler Thomas was the backup. 68 here. Uh, let me find his number. Sam? No, that's not set. That's 60. All right, what we got? We're going to – it looks like we're kicking – they're kicking off again. But that is 60 Parker Hand that looked looked like he was going in the center All right, position. We need some help here. What What happened? I got the window open now. We can hear the field announcer and pick up on some names from Berrien County. I want to give these guys, you know, uh, their their due justice as well. If I'm not badly mistaken, I thought I heard a whistle when he caught the ball uh, earlier, or when he picked it up. He didn't catch it. He when he picked it up and started to make his forward momentum. I'm pretty sure I heard a whistle. Well, I wonder why they had to re-kick. Why couldn't they just spot it where he touched it? But Nonetheless, there's going to be a re-kick, and I tell you, special teams scare me the most of any plays uh, in high school football games. I was watching uh, any any level of football. I was watching the Virginia West Virginia and Pitt game, mm. and seen a uh, a block punt in that game. That was a it was a critical moment in that game. Uh, anything can happen in the in the game of football. Now that we got a. Pooch kick. Oh, boy. Well, maybe he scooped it up. He's trying to make some plays here. Cuts back up the middle to about the 24-yard line. That's not a bad return considering where that ball went after it hit his foot. I think he wound up making, what, 15-yard return there after he finally caught it? Caught about about 10 it. yards after he yeah. recovered it. Uh, much better than what I was anticipating yeah. happening there, Caleb. That's for sure. That's for sure. Raiders will take over again on about the 25. Man, that middle linebacker right there, he's that's that's a that's a big man for Berrien County. Well, look at the D-line Holy guys. Smokes. They're thick, I'm telling you. I saw watched a few plays this morning. Yeah, we got Parker Hand here snapping for the Raiders. Pitch outside to number one, Richardson. He's shaking and baking. He's going to end up with about five on the carry. Yeah, that's not bad there. Good perimeter blocking. I will say them safeties they 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 filled fast right there. That number four, he was he was there in a hurry. Well, you said it, Caleb. There's a line of seniors over there. Uh, yes. I, you have to assume that you know 80 percent of the kids on the field or more yes. uh, are seniors for uh, Berrien County. Yes, this is uh, it's one of the larger Berrien County teams I think I've seen. Uh, only got to play them once in high school because of COVID. COVID. Up the middle, Up the middle. A little little. Lightning in a bottle there. Two string tackle right there. Brown. Yep, that's JoJo. It's a first down for the Raiders there. It's a nice little run, I tell you. As big as those boys are, we 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 putting a helmet on on them down there on the line. Really, uh, people don't understand. A lot of people. I say people. Majority of the fans in the stands do not understand the main job of the offensive line. Every time things go wrong, you the first thing you hear is you got to block, and it's a lot more complicated than that. Of course, you got to block, but a lot of times blocking is only putting a body on a body. You don't have to move him. You don't as long disruption you can move you. is you basically just, what it is. That's all you're doing. Uh, uh, Richardson there with a carry, uh, about a one-yard gain. 
Second and nine to go here. Eight minutes and 20 seconds remaining. But we've got we've got Tyler Thomas at right tackle. He's a junior. Uh, Marquan Lee at left tackle. Nope, left guard. He is a junior. Got Tristan Strickland at right guard. He's a sophomore. Parker Hand at center. He's a sophomore. He's a snap and a throw over the middle. Can he make the catch? Oh. It was close. Again, we, Coach and I have talked on the coaches' show. Our offense is just a few inches, a few they're, feet away from, from, from really right clicking. There. And I will say a lot of it is a lot of it. I think is Knox. I'm not I'm not pointing any fingers, but he's he's only a sophomore. Right, right. I mean, he's got the talent. I told him this on the phone not too long ago. Uh, he's got the talent. He's it's all there. I knew that last year when we was playing scout team and. He'd be back there taking the reps. He's got the talent. I'm glad he's in the position he's in because uh, that gives Cozy more opportunity to play where he wants to play. That's a completion Great out. play there. That First down number, for the Red Raiders on the 48-yard line, 47-yard line. That may be Fuller's first reception. Uh, he dropped a, He's dropped a couple passes uh, this year, but we know that you talk about lightning in the bottle. This kid – after the first three or four, I think three ball games last year, he had over 400 yards receiving. So he is exciting if we get the ball in his hands. That's for sure. He uh, he can make some plays. He's pretty shifty out in space. I like the quarterback. You see him with a lot of patience there, scanning yes. the field, looking, looking, looking. That was about his the third way, option. The way the running back responded, it was almost like it was a bone play. He, he was standing right there beside him, like wondering what happened. Up the middle is Richardson. He's going to push the pile for about three. We are making – Great games here against this big defensive line with our guys here. I mean, we've got we've got three sophomores and two juniors. Not, I'm pretty sure there's not a single senior on that offensive line right there for Bacon County. And Coach mentioned, and if you watch the coaches show, he said that I think all of their seniors play on the on defense. Yeah. The majority, or majority, that all of the older and more experienced players are on defense. Right. Got a bit of a, almost like a heavy package here. We're going to get a timeout by Bacon County. We're also going to take a quick timeout again and honor our sponsors. We're going to be back here in just a moment. All right, Kayla, we're back. Uh, again, time out there. It's going to be second and six with six minutes and 51 seconds remaining here in the first. Our offense is methodically moving down the field. Now we're we are lined up now in the in the in the formation that we were supposed to be in now. From what we heard off the pitch side outside, line. nice block there by the lead runner. There's Richardson continuing to push and oh, wiggle his way for about a, another three yard gain. He's, this is just hard nosed football so far. Looks like Richardson's going to have to come out for a play. He lost his helmet. Going to have to have a sub. There goes number five. That's going to be Slade coming in. Slade will always be one of the best-looking uh, players on the field, the way this kid's put together and how strong he is. Uh, it's third and three with 6-19-18 as the clock continues to go down. Brown in the tailback position. Slade in that fullback position. And we give it to Brown, and he gets oh, popped in the backfield. It's going to be a, a loss of three yards. It looks like where they're spotting it. That, that looked like a GT – uh, GT counter almost. Yeah. Well, Look like we've got a, uh, a guard tackle pull there. I think that's where that pressure come from is on the, the close down to fill them gaps from the rest of the players. Yeah. Well, we were in four down territory here. There was no doubt we were going going for it here. Now we're fourth and six. 
they show blitz, uh, or at least they're walking up like it. They're pumping like it. A lot of communication from the defense. Berrien County right here, they're talking. Pitch outside, up. nice block. It's just going to be tough to run for six yards against, like you said, those corners are coming up. Well, they were in – I'm pretty sure I didn't get a good look at the secondary. That looked like a zero coverage. I'm pretty sure they was expecting us to run there, which, I mean, yeah, <laughs> that's – I've seen I've seen the first game. I have seen just a little bit of the second game, and it's just run, 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 run for Bacon County. Well, we're going to have to to be able to run. You got to be able to throw. To be able to throw, you got to be able to That's run. Correct. A little bit of balance, and That's we almost correct. hit a pass that it would have been likely been a touchdown earlier, just off of fingertips. But, Very possible. Yes. Sir. Um, there's no doubt that uh, the quarterback can push it down the field. We just got to again got to execute, run up the middle, and he's driving his legs. And there's a host of Red Raiders. Stands him up after about a four-yard gain. It's going to be. Looked like that was my Clavius O'Neill on the original, original stop there. Stopped the momentum. Or at least he's the one I seen come out last of the pile there. Is this a wildcat? This is not the same guy playing quarterback last. They got place, a, I think it? think they got a guy that comes. They, they swap in and out. Yeah. He keeps it, runs to the right side, and he cuts back to the middle. Will be close to a first down. That is the uh, quarterback yep. counter right there. Uh, that play is. I like the. I like that play. We ran that play last year a pretty decent bit with uh, uh, Nicosi back there. Uh, if you make the reach right on that play, there's no telling what can happen because half your line's going this way to set up the counter, and if this if the defense does certain things, you hand the ball off it. There's a fake there back up the middle. Good good tackle there by number four. Uh, I think that was Myquavius again, number three. He made that original hit again. Okay. Myquavius O'Neal. Yes, sir. Number three. I think he's playing a uh, he's playing the outside walk down. So really, he's playing like a linebacker, but he is. It looks more like a a defensive lineman, a stand up defensive lineman. But in theory, I think he's actually a linebacker. There's a run to the right end. side. Big hole for the young man, and he's he's got some speed. It's quick. That's going to be another first down for the Rebels. As you know, we, we bragged all last two weeks about our defense, and now we're the defense has been on their heels a little bit these first two drives. Um, just going to have to make some adjustments. But, again, sometimes, you know, I don't know. We, we see a really good, uh, good-looking good offensive line for Berrien County. You know, we I was talking with Coach. You know, sometimes you get whipped uh, in, in certain key positions. Uh, sometimes there's nothing you can do about it, but hopefully we can make some adjustments. And I don't believe we played a team with this much outside run either. No. Uh, well, I think, you know, the guy from Lanier, there's another another good run there by the back. It's almost another so eight-yard eight yard gain there. It's going to be second and two with two minutes, under three minutes to go here, 257 and counting. The kid from Lanier – he, he did a great job of cutting back. He had good vision. I think a lot of the runs were meant to between yes. the tackles, and, he, did, and them, he ran outside. A lot but. of them were uh, inside zone plays that he, he bent back. And there's a keeper by the quarterback. That's going to be another first down for the Rebels. That was the same play that scored for him earlier. Two thirty-four on the clock here in the first quarter. Early six to nothing Rebels as they went down in about six plays and scored their first drive. I'm gonna throw the ball here. Oh, oh incomplete! I tell you what, that was an opportunity for a potential. Uh, it's easy for us to see. I was like, yes. man, that ball could be intercepted. Um, it was it almost like it was just floating, floating in the air there. The but that's. Uh, 
second and ten at, a, at about the ten-yard line. But I, evidently they can still get a first down. Must be a, just the this side of the The scoreboard says it's on the 15. I know you can't always trust the scoreboard. Oh, it is on the 15. Yeah. It is. It is. The Raiders need to bow their back here. Keep them out of the end zone. And that looks like a – At least hold them to a – a field goal chance because uh, – Is that a false start there by the offense procedure? We're seeing here. Yeah, he's yes. walking it off. It's false start the be second and 15 now with two minutes and 17 seconds here in the first quarter from Nashville, Georgia. Second down, 15. There's, to, a, there's a lot of construction going on at this school. I think this stadium has been redone. It's been about five or six years, about the same time our school was built. built. Oh, man. Big hit there by our defense. That was a nice way to shed a block there and get in there for number 10, uh, Aiden Cothern. Had to make sure I got that right. Next down close to the 18-yard line. We're looking at third and 13 here for Berrien County. Now, here, here's, here's the different quarterback, or the starting quarterback, I'll say. Well, the number four is still in there, too. He's still so, taking so, – uh, Okay. He's still taking – so, we got 84. I was looking at number eight. I think he may be that hybrid tight end receiver. We've got to make an open field tackle there, oh, and we yes. do. Wrap him up. It's going to be fourth Trent, and long. It's Trent Music on that tackle there. He's He's real good in space. It's hard to get past him in space, and he'll lay a lick on you in a hurry. Fourth and 11 now. Under a minute to go. Fourth and 11. Uh, with their field goal kicking situation, I think they're going to go for it here. <laughs> yeah. I mean, worst case scenario here, they, they – uh, It's like a deep punt. You yeah. know, they turn the ball over right here. Yeah. Worst case scenario for them. But I look for them to – I look for him to throw something in the end zone here. What you think, Sky? Just throw it in the end zone here? All right, we've got a timeout by Barry and County. Trying to trying to fire these boys up. Maybe the the, the home uh, the visiting crowd who's pre pretty good. They got a good crowd. You can uh, maybe see the camera fling by over for Barry and County. We're gonna take another quick break here on the NFHS network. You've dreamed about the perfect house a place to call your own, and a place to not only stretch out, but to grow. Auto Owners protects your house because to you, it's home. That's simple human sense. Happy to help, man. I was just over there talking to myself anyway. All right, following the timeout, let's set the stage. It's 35.6 seconds on the scoreboard. Fourth and 11 for Berrien. Raiders need to keep them from the first down, definitely keep them out of the end zone. I, I got a feeling they may throw for the end zone here. Uh, Raiders do receive the ball after half. If we if we get a hold here, we run a couple plays, we keep possession, run out the half, we get the ball, start the half. And there's the pass in the end zone. Oh, Broken up by the Red Raiders. First quarter here, so we're going to get the ball here. 30 seconds left in the first quarter. We're going to go into the second with the ball, I would hope. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be first and 10 for the Raiders on the 16-yard line. That Again. was a great stand by the Raider defense right there. It was. They, uh, they pushed that ball from about the 38, wasn't it? They pushed that ball from about the 38 all the way down to the – they got it to the 15, and then a penalty set back and wound up at the 16. So that's a great stand by the Raider defense there. I'm like you. I, I maybe I want to score quick, but maybe we can we can take five, six, seven minutes off the clock, come down and and put some points on the board. It's going to be important. And there's a handoff to the up back. Flick. Uh, oh, he kept it, and he's quick on the outside. And that's that's Richardson or Brown. I believe. Did I see the hair coming out? Is that Brown? No, that was Richardson. There. Okay. Brown was the one that we faked the handoff to. Uh, he kept the ball. 
He flicked it out to – that was an option play there, read option, I believe. Seven yards. This young man's just a sophomore. He's put on about 15 pounds of muscle since last year. Uh, man, he's, he's, he's really fun to watch. Another handoff up the middle. That's going to be a close to a first down for the Raiders. I don't think see where gonna, they spot it. They're going to spot it just shy, third and maybe two or one inches. Yeah, maybe a half a football. Maybe so. You got you got to think here. They're going to be keying in on that run right in the middle. Um, do you pitch it wide? Do you fake it? Dump it over the over the middle. We're going to find out. At, uh, the the timer just run out for the first quarter. We've got 12 minutes remaining. Nice, uh, nice kick's turn. Yeah. Get on the mic. <laughs> We're going to take a quick break. We, we come back. Uh, Caleb's going to give it up to kick. Um, and then in the second half, I'm giving it up to both of them. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. But uh, I want to thank Caleb for that first uh, quarter commentary. He, 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 folks, he can be a lot more technical uh, than I can as far as what he sees on the field with the formations and that sort of thing. So I appreciate that, and you look forward to that in the second half. Yes, sir. Thank you. We're back here. First play, or excuse me, third and one. First play of the second quarter. Sky, what you think, Bub? Third and one from your own 25. I mean, it's early in the game, but I feel like this is a big play in the ball game early on. In this power eye formation, I, I'm not sure exactly what they call it. I'll be honest. It's a it's it's the, almost, the diamond formation. The diamond formation. That's like the horseman we ran a couple years ago. With Carver, and they are going to go up the middle, and that should be enough for the – absolutely enough for the first down, I think. We Is just that, need a little ooh. push there for that first down. I hope we go by this spot. Close to the and I don't even know if we're going to get it. I'm not sure they're going to move the ball. That's a – oh, that's a poor – I mean, how do you know which ref to choose? I mean – well, I believe they have a short negotiation period. <laughs> That's like we're going for it. No, we've got the punter on the field. Nah, it's just a deeper diamond formation. Oh, yeah, that's what it is? <laughs> I'm just kidding. We install that one at practice this week. <laughs> yeah. Cozy uh, does a great job of punting. Uh, he's – we got some movement there on the right side. I think Coach is frustrated with the referees. I, I'm not sure how together they were on this whole – this whole. The, yeah, the, 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 the play clock, I don't think it got reset. There's a couple things going on. I don't think there's going to be a penalty here. You've got the white hat talking to Barry and Coach. If anything, it's going to be against us. I think it's a play clock issue. We got – 11 minutes and two seconds remaining here in the second. Maybe he's – yeah, he just picked it up. Yeah, let's start it over here. Now we'll get a punt. No penalty on the play. Fourth down and one from the 25. Good snap. We've got a high, high kick. kick. It's going to come out to about the – 48-yard line. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. It's about a mm, about a 20-yard. It's going to 20-yard net. Yeah, you're going to net about 20, 20, 
four, I believe, on that. I, I, one thing I never understood at every level, you know, there's a line of scrimmage, and then on field goal kicks, it's approximately a seven-yard snap to where they kick from. They count that distance on the total kicking, but they do not count the distance from where the punter kicks it from. I, I don't quite understand that. It, it penalizes uh, the punter for the, the total distance that he's actually kicking it. Right, right. And they'll give – Kickoff returners, now obviously in high school you can't, but college you can. They'll give them a 109-yard kickoff return by the ball going into the end zone. Right. So, again, maybe they need to catch up on that. And that is in the rare occurrence that someone does return a kick <laughs> these days with the amount that goes into the end zone. Going to have a handoff there behind the left tackle. Nice play there by the Things right gonna, side of that line. It's going to get about two yards out of that. Looks like our defense has tightened up just a little. They've had a couple big plays, I think three or four of uh, more than ten yards. Um, but when they're between the tackles, we've done a pretty good job of containing them. It's when they bounced it outside, like Caleb was saying earlier. Yeah, I believe we've settled in since that first drive. Two receivers to the top. A little scat back in the backfield with the quarterback. And he hands it off to him. Go off left tackle outside. Spins off one guy. Get brought down at the 40 on that yeah. play. It was a big push. He wasn't touched. He was six yards down the field before he got touched. He was just kind of tippy-toeing behind two of his uh, blockers before he got tackled from behind. It's like we're going to get – I think we're going to get a possible measurement here. Uh, I don't think they got it, but just looking at where we're at – but. Nonetheless, there's 10 minutes and one second remaining here in the second quarter or the first half, any way you want to look at it. It looks like I haven't – I don't want to jinx myself by looking at the radar, but it was it was looking like it was going to rain sometime between 7.30 and 8.30. But we, do, we, we see a few clouds around about, but I think maybe, just maybe, uh, we'll miss it. Yeah, it's good weather outside right now. It's not hot, slight breeze. I think that's that cool air blowing on our backs. Yeah, when we <laughs> got in here, it was on 60 <laughs> degrees. I thought we'd ended up in Antarctica or something. All right, it's third and one, a big down. you got to think they're in four down territory if some reason they don't get it here. Yeah, another third and one here. We need a big uh, – we need a penalty here. We need a, a blow up in the backfield. And he's going to hand it off up there the middle. And, and he bounces up to the left breaks side. Breaks the initial contact. That's about a 10-yard gain. It's going to be a first down for Berrien. That's the big back. Berrien seems to be rotating quite a few guys in the backfield, whether it's quarterback, running back. Or well, they got 40 seniors on the team. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like. I guess when you've got a collegiate-sized roster, you can do that. Which, looking on their sideline, there doesn't seem to be many no. more guys than we have. They don't. I think I think the difference is their guys are probably a little older and yeah, yeah. more experienced, and that's why they've got all those banners hanging up. Yeah, coach told us about that this week. These guys are experienced. They uh, guys that's been in the weight room a little longer than ours. It was a gang tackle by the Raiders. A little sweep there, and we're going to stand him up after. Is that about a two-yard gain? And they're giving them four, uh, maybe five. Uh, Sky, well, yeah. Well, I can't I can't see the chains from where I'm sitting at right now. Lean that, lean to the right, and you can see them there. Yeah, yeah. I see a nice window sill in front of my face. <laughs> it's going to be second, a, a, a long four maybe is what the board shows. Another drive here by Barry, and as they drove down there, well, they scored their first drive, and the second drive they took it down to the 15 and stalled. Yeah, the second drive was going sort of like this one until we held up. Now the cutback, he's going to cut back up the middle and – I don't want to say any yardages there, but about three. It's going to be third and a short one, maybe a ball length. Barrion's going to be near the left hash. Well, I said a while ago Barrion was subbing a lot of guys in and out. I didn't see any on that play. Yeah, Got a I saw a throw coming screen here. out to the left side. That's going to be a touchdown for no, Barry. Oh, it went out of bounds. I think he came up a little short. Yeah. I, I, I was just about to say that, you know, they're definitely going for it if they don't get it. Uh, why, why not uh, have a pass play here? 
uh, just to see what happens. It was well blocked out there on that left side. Well executed play there. Call a timeout here. Eight minutes left in the first half. Your Raiders trailing 6 0 with Barry and driving inside the five yard line. I had to give my son a hug. He's been at, uh, made it to the game tonight. Drove in from Athens this afternoon. It's his first trip home after three weeks uh, in God's country. Um, Natty country. Yeah. Uh, exciting times for UGA. Kicking off season tomorrow. We'll Discuss that, or I'm sure they will. Uh, they'll discuss that a little bit in the second half. But uh, Raiders are going to need to bow their backs here. Uh, it's going to be first down and goal from about the four-yard line. Well, the scoreboard has it on the five. 8.08 on the clock. It's a game of inches, Brent. It is. I think the quarterback's going to take the snap under center here. Hand it off up the middle. They're Big, going to have a yeah. push into the end zone, and Barrion's going to add on six here. Eight oh four remaining. It's going to be 12 to nothing on the scoreboard. That's the tied for the most points we've given up in the first two games. That was a little bully ball there. They just lined yeah. it up and ran it right at you, us. You know what? I like that under center when you get inside the 10 the yard line and that uh, deep in the red zone. Um, you, you, you don't see it too often anymore. Uh, they, these folks, uh, these teams, they stay in that shotgun package. Oh, there's that swinging gate. They're going to go for two, and there's a big tackle. Two. We're going to blow that up. That's number three. Am I Quavius? Uh, I believe that was Trent Music I'm on sorry, the play. Number seven. I'm just going to quit calling out stuff, folks. My eyes are horrible, I guess. Well, you are old, Brent. So. Yeah, well, the the, jer the the number the number on the front of their jersey is kind of squinched up because of their shoulder pads in the front. But Yeah, that's what I'd say, too. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Can't catch a break. That's why I'm giving it up to the men, – men's guy will be fighting here before it's over with. That's why I'm got to let these two, two boys have it in the second half. Great play there by Music, sniffing that out. Uh, bringing him down. So we're going to get the ball back for the third time on offense here in the first half. Uh, started clicking a little bit. Uh, Sky, we're going to have to throw the ball. Yeah, uh, we've seen a little movement on the last drive. I mean, we had one pass and play where we are just inches away from a possible touchdown and another pass that's well thrown to the boundary outside the numbers. And we uh, moved it well through the air, and it's good to see some – uh, progress in our passing game and running game hasn't quite got going yet, but you know we know that's our bread and butter, so I'm sure we'll see that come around at some point. All right, we'll get ready for this kickoff. I want to thank the 2022-23 athletic school year title sponsors: Coley Electric and Plumbing Supply, Burt CPAs, Family Vision Care, and Andy Cawthon Auto Sales. All businesses, local business and industry from Alma and Bacon County. Thank them for their support, continued support of our broadcast. Another squibber, and we're going to pick it up, and we're going to try to run it. That's number 10, Cawthorn. Oh, he's got a, got a hole on this side, needed a block. Goes down about the 38-yard line. Yep, the Raiders will start on their their own 38. Pretty good field position here as we, uh, what, seven minutes and 55 seconds remaining here in the half. Yep, it would be nice to have a big drive here, take time off the clock, punch it in the end zone, then come out and get the ball to start the second half, take the lead, you know, in a perfect scenario. Yes. That would be. And uh, no reason to believe we can't do what you just described. Uh, Raiders are going to start on the left hash. 
I think we might have an equip. We got an equipment problem. I believe he's signaling that our receiver's knee pads are not uh, low enough. Yeah, he needs to come on off the field. Come on off the field. There we go. Anyways, we're going to line up with one back in the backfield. There's the handoff. Hand that's Travion Richardson. He's going to slip a couple of guys, power forward. I believe that's about an eight-yard gain on the first place, so that's a good way to get the drive started. I tell you, he's averaging about five yards a carry. He has a bright future. We're going to have a little hurry up here. Still, this guy's lined up off sides here on the end. A nice little play outside. A little option pass there. Is that that's going to be a first down. I believe that's Fuller with Fuller. the catch. So Fuller's coming alive in this ball game with two catches here early on. Great play there by the Raiders. Mixing things up. That's the first play we've seen of that caliber in the three ball games. I believe I heard on the coaches show this week, Coach Wilson was talking about how they're adding in a few wrinkles each and every week. And um, that was a good play they dialed up there. We're going to come out again with trips down here to the outside, one back in the backfield. Good snap. Uh, oh. Throws a little higher. I tell you, I'm real impressed with the young quarterback. You see he looked to the – the back that was swinging out, uh, looked there, kind of basically looking the linebackers over, and then he made the throw to the to the middle of the field, to the uh, to the flat there. All right. I'm almost – I know the throw was a little high, and that might have been his intended target, but you did have a receiver on an outbreaking route there who possibly that pass could have been intended for. Ah. We're going to come out again with trips. Seven minutes and two seconds remaining, second and ten. We got – Brown in the backfield. Good snap. Gives it Quarterback's going to gonna take it himself. Oh, he lowers his lowers. head and just smashes. That's going to be a first down. <laughs> lowers his head and smashes the cornerback there, as you can tell. You know, you love to see it when your quarterback's willing to put his head down and plow through somebody. I'm sure that gets his teammates rallied behind him. 6.52, first and 10. Oh, a little bobble there on the snap. We're going to. Hand it off to Brown up the middle. Uh, get a a conservative three. Had a little had a little extracurricular activity going on down there near the sideline between our receiver and defensive back there. Probably. I like I like intensity, but you got to reel it in. You got to keep it under control. But I I do like to see some fight and some fire in our Red Raiders. And I know there's a fine line with with so much emotion that's involved with the game of football. Yeah, again in trips, we're gonna throw the ball to the end zone. Oh, uh, flag! Yes, definitely sir. Definitely believe that DB was there early. Yeah, he basically dragged him down. The, the ball was probably underthrown a little bit, which was good. Uh, it I was a little I, underthrown. I believe our receiver put himself in good position. Yes. That caused the DB to grab him and wrap him up there. He was going to make the catch, I believe, in kind of a basket catch there. Uh, but it should be a 10-yard penalty first down for the Red Raiders here with five – excuse me, six minutes and five seconds. I don't know. We're trying to decide now, is it a, is it a 10 or 15-yard penalty? I, I, have they even marked it off yet? Yeah. Uh, I think they're beginning to mark it off now. Four, five, six, seven, ten, eleven. You're right. It's 15-yard penalty. That's going to be big for your Red Raiders. 15 yards closer to getting this score more so where they would like it. First and ten from about the 14 and a half yard line. We're going to line up with. Trips again out to the right. I believe we've been in trips the entire drive so far. Spreading them out. It allows you and to run up the middle like that. that was a, did I hear an early whistle? Okay. Just a little run up the A gap there. It's going to be second down and about six, it looks like, with 546. The clock continues to 
trickle. And this has been the drive that the Raiders wanted to put together for sure. It's just got to end in the end zone. And I need to mention, right, I meant to earlier, I forgot, he's outside. Cooper Loggins, senior at Bacon County High School, is on the camera for the very first time uh, this season. I want to thank him for joining us here tonight. Oh, drop ball, picks drop it up. Snap. Did he still he got get it? it? Picked up. Uh, Just hold on to it. Man, that's, that's there. The, there is a flag on the play, also. You got to think that's probably an offensive, unless they're off sides. That would be nice. I know their defensive end has been lined up off sides a couple times. Nope. Maybe that was a beanbag or something he was trying to throw. And, uh, but it's going to be third and six. Definitely uh, four down territory for the Raiders. So we're going to have, you think, two downs to get this six yards. Yeah, two downs to get this um, six yards possibly. I know I didn't yeah. see his attempt to field goal in the game last week, so I'm not sure what our standing is with our he, field goal he, unit. He, he, he can make, you know, I think he's good from up to about 25 or 30 yards. We're going to take a quick break here with this timeout with uh, four minutes and 31 seconds remaining. Be back in just a moment. You finally found the perfect car in racing blue. You even got them to throw in the LED fog lights for free. Auto owners insures your car because some people never learn to parallel park. That's simple human sense. Keep going, more. No, no! Four thirty-one remaining in the first half. It's third and six for the Raiders on the twelve. Again, got to think it's four down territory. Let's hope we can get the first down. Maybe a touchdown right here as we are in trips again. Yeah, we're back in our trips formation with one back in the backfield, which has been a common theme on this drive, and that's been Brown back there for the majority of the drive. Back to pass. He's going to throw a little curl route. Oh, and they're going to knock it out of his hands. He's he came down with a catch, went to secure it, make the turn, and it would have been corner, close corner made a good play to break it up and I believe he was about on the been close for a would have been game. on the line if anything it would have been fourth and inches again that's more just experience uh you got to use your body to kind of guard yourself because he he was there to catch the ball out from your body and bring it in quickly it's all it's almost like in basketball boxing somebody out for a rebound there good defensive play they did what they you know obviously wanted to do Disrupt. It's fourth and at fourth and eight. Maybe I misread this. Maybe they just changed it to the eight instead of the six. Fourth yeah. and eight for the Raiders. There's a snap. Oh, I think we got a. That play is going to be blown dead. Most likely a procedure on the Raiders. If I had to guess, it's going to be fourth and thirteen. Most likely, yeah. I'm not sure what the call is there. I heard someone shout delay of game. They are announcing a delay of game. My goodness, how do you get that? That is a killer in that situation. Cost yourself five yards there. Well, now you're forced to kind of throw it to the end zone. I mean, you just about have to. you got to throw it for the first down at least. Uh, nothing short of it. If you throw it short, you better make sure you've got guys out in front or either somebody with the ball in their hands that's going to make some people miss. Four wide, two at the top, two at the bottom. Little oh, a pump fake. Little pump Do we fake. have him in the corner? That is a oh, great oh. defensive play. It was a good. That was not a bad uh, ball at all. No, just a good defensive play there. Receiver just couldn't quite high point that ball and snatch it out of the air there. Good coverage, though, by the defensive back. Well, defense is going to have to bow their back once again. Uh, need to keep the Rebels out of the end zone like we did before. It's 12 to nothing, 420 to go. Raiders have been able to move it between the 20s. That was their best drive of the game so far. It's unfortunate that we didn't come out with points there. But a big stop here, 
go a long way. Well, it's the little mistakes. You know, Coach said we be, we'll go and we get a couple penalties or a penalty here and there that hurts you. Right there we had the uh, the drop snap um, kind of set us back a play there. And now back on defense. A little scat back gets the ball. We wrap him up. I believe that was close to the two yards. Yeah. Not well, they give him just back to the line of scrimmage, basically. Oh, there they go. Now he's moving it. About a yard and a half. It's going to be a long eight. Second and eight. And the Raiders could really use a stop right here and make them punt the ball, get it back in good field position, and go right back down to the um, end zone. Like a forced fumble scoop and score here would sound pretty good too, wouldn't it? Anything that gets the points on the board. I see a whistle. Looks like we got a penalty on Berrien. It's going to take them back. It's going to be second and 14 with 3.39 on the clock. Stop here would definitely be huge, so if Barry wants to help us out, I'm sure we'll take it. Fake. Oh, we, we get him. Oh, that's a big, a big play sack. in the backfield. Can you get a number on there? O'Neal. He's had a whale of a game. Playing sort of that hybrid. We talk he's kind of a walk-down linebacker, defensive end type. Great young man. I teach him first block. Very quiet, but he's a good-looking kid in a uniform, about 6'2", probably 175, 80 pounds. We've got a third and 20 here, so definitely want to keep the ball in front, in front of, of you. Oh, yeah. They've got three receivers on the field. One's going to come in motion. Quarterback's Quarterback. going to take snap, run left. We are going to stop him. It's going to bring up fourth down. The Raiders will get the ball back, but yeah. the clock is ticking down with 2.38 left in the first half. Ball's going to be on about the 15, fourth down with, like he said, the clock is running 2.33. Does it show how many timeouts we have? We have zero timeouts Zero timeouts, timeouts remaining. So we're going to be in a true two-minute offense here. Um, a chance for a, a big play here. We're going to – we should receive the ball uh, – Got two guys back to return this punt. Got Nicozy batting and Aiden Cawthorn back there. Unless this guy booms it, we should get the ball, you know, inside the 50, possibly inside the 40, at, at, you know, at the very least. I don't want to jinx them. I don't want to kind of muff, but if we can get – there's going to be a timeout by Barry. And we're going to take another quick break here with 2.02 left on the clock, fourth and 16 for Barry, and Raiders could get the ball back, or we'll get the ball back. Again, 2.02 on the clock. Tra uh, Raiders are trailing 12 to 0 here against Berrien County. Fourth and 16. They're punting. As you can see, our guys, uh, well, it's not in the camera, but they got their heels on about the 45 yard line. The line. Nice to have a big return right oh, here. That is a good punt. Good punt. Maybe he outpunt his coverage. Oh, oh no. he's going to drop the punt, but we're back on it. And we oh. pick it up, mm. come out of it. Goodness gracious. Just a really good punt, unexpected 40-yard punt. Um, we're lucky to get it back. Like I told you earlier, special teams scare me to death. Special teams make a huge difference in the ball game. It is a sport of all three phases. So Raiders will take over on the 48-and-a-half. 
with 151 remaining, be first and 10. We're going to line back up in trips. We've got Richardson in the backfield for start this drive. A little quick screen out here. We're going to have a drop on that play. We've got our receiver's going to switch and put on some gloves after that one. Minute 47 left in the first half, second and 10. Got to have some big plays here if we're going to put points on the board before the half. Trips again. There's a handoff to up Richardson middle. up the middle. Mm. Going to press that A gap again. About four yards on the carry. It's going to be third down and six. Clock's running now, 135, 134. Got to go. Four down territory. We're scrambling, trying to get set right now, getting the play in. We're definitely in a hurry up. Snap. Oh, we're going to catch a break there. The ball just keeps oh, pushing. Let's go. First down. What a play by the young man. Weight room. Yeah, I couldn't even describe. Uh, Aiden. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure what Aiden, just happened. Aiden Wright. We had what what almost was an interception uh, was a carom off to Aiden Wright, catches it, and he just pushed, 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 and gets a first down for the Raiders. Tried that little quick screen again. Ball bounces off one guy right into the hands of another, and he plows his way forward for <laughs> however much of a gain that was. No. Uh, oh. Wow, we were lucky there again. Sorry. Throw out there to the right side. Dangerous throw there. Stops the clock, 56 seconds. It's going to be second and 10. Uh, we're on the Berrien County 39-yard line. You got to make some good decisions here. We got a four receiver set on the field. Our offense looks a little confused they out do. there. They do. Good block on the edge. Quarterback, Quarterback he's got a lot of running room. A lot of room. He's going to take off. Got to keep running now. Atta boy. He's, he's going to be close to a first down on that other down. side. I'm not sure if he made it out of bounds or not. I think they drug him down inbounds. Nope. They're stopping the clock. But it's a first down. They got a – It should be a – It's a first down. First down. We don't have to clock it. Great play by the quarterback. Quarterback's limping off the field out of that play. He might have got rolled up over there on that sideline. The clock is running. 34 seconds. We spike it. It's going to stop the clock. No timeouts for the Raiders. 34.6 on the clock. Hopefully the QB can walk it off. Got our starting quarterback down on the sideline. Seems to be getting his lower right leg looked at. Still got four receivers on the field. Brown in the backfield. Cozy back to throw. He's going to have to he's, uh, oh, and they're going to get him for a sack. Yeah, that's going to hurt. 28 seconds. We got to get to the, get up to the line of scrimmage. That clock is ticking, and it is not our friend right now. Well, and you got to bring in a quarterback. Run the play. They're not ready. Run it. Don't clock it. Ah, fake it. And run it. <laughs> clock it with 13 seconds left from the burying 34-yard line. So this is almost possibly going to be a heave to the end zone here. This is where not having those timeouts really hurts you. Yeah, yeah, and, and you got your starting quarterback down, getting treatment, and you got Cozy, who who comes in and plays some quarterback, but not in his two-minute setting. He wasn't necessarily many, mentally prepared to come in at this moment in time. Well, you talk about getting thrown into the fire right yeah, there. Yeah, a fire, literally. It's going to be the final potential final play for the Raiders here this half if we can't 
get a first down. That's going to be a delay of game. Delay of game against the Red Raiders. That's going to be our second delay of game here in our last two drives. That'll back it up. Our offense seems flustered right now with communication and getting plays in and getting lined up. Well, when again, when you're in the crunch like this, you don't practice this scenario too often. Not Again, it's hard to simulate a game situation like this. I think we're gonna they were get, offsides, yeah, I We're going to get Barry in offsides on the play. That's how you get somebody hurt. Because they, they pin in their ears back. They know what we're going to try to do here. I I don't know uh, if, you, if you do a little delayed draw here, um, especially where you're at on the field. Nothing else. It runs the clock out. Uh, and you're in no real danger of a pick yeah, six type I mean, situation. With, with eight seconds left here in the half, I mean, you want to try to score and make something happen, but at the same time you don't want to give the other team points while you're at it. That's right. You want to keep the deficit where it is. And we're going to get another whistle blown. Flag on the play. You know, it seems like in football games, the last Ball two minutes of every half 20 always 20 takes the majority 20. of the game. <laughs> That's right. I'm going to exit. I'm going to exit left really quickly. I got to get to the other side and, and video uh, the band for the band. I'm going to give my headset uh, to Caleb here and let y'all kind of wrap things up um, for the second half. And you just, uh, but yeah, I'm going to hand it over to Caleb. Don't worry, we'll we'll hold it down. <laughs> yeah, he did give me he didn't give me much time to work with here. Oh, hey man, you gotta stay ready, see you I'm, gotta get ready. Hey, I've been here the whole time. I've been here the whole time. Snaps off. Uh, quick Some flick out to JoJo there. He's got space. The running back. He's gonna make the most He's out of it. He's still on his feet. Holy he cow. He's not going down. He ran out the full eight seconds on that play. That's just that's Pure wheel right there. That's that's heart. You know, JoJo's not the biggest guy, but he tries a he, lot. He plays bigger than what he is, and that's going to wrap up the first half here with your Red Raiders trailing 12 to zero. But the Raiders will receive the second half kickoff, and so stay tuned, and we'll see if we can pull off the comeback.
We finally found the perfect car in racing blue. You even got them to throw in the LED fog lights for free. Auto Owners insures your car because some people never learn to parallel park. That's simple human sense. Keep going, more. No, no!
And we're back. Welcome back to the Griffin and Keck show. You got that right. <laughs> we are here to take over. That's for sure. We got rid of that old guy, and now the young bucks are running loose out here. Keck, the last time me and you was on the air together, I was still a student. Well, the last time me and you was on the air together was like 15 minutes ago, so. No, 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 no. That ain't what I meant. That ain't what I meant. The last <laughs> – the last different sporting event me and Keck did together was a baseball game back in the early spring. So how does it feel not being a student? Uh, well. <laughs> like, do you feel old yet? I'm not. <laughs> you know, actually, I was just thinking about that the other day. I, uh, I was thinking about how the fact that I'll turn 19 here in just a few months, and I'm like, like been around you, the sun 19 yeah. times. That's have you have you reached a point where you're like, back in my day, <laughs> yeah, back when I was in school? I oh, mean, I do that all the time. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna get set to kick off the second half here with the Red Raiders receiving the second half kickoff down 12-0 to Berrien County. Everything looks right on the screen. Uh, that's number. Kick straight to number 11 right there. That was Dietrich Smith, and he's going to return it out past midfield to the Berrien 48-yard line. That's what it's looking like, yeah. So, Caleb, what's your analysis on the first half? What do we need to change going into the second half? Um, I really liked the second quarter passing game we had. I really liked how that was. Uh, we started to develop that just a little bit more than I had seen uh, previously. Uh, I want to see them just keep pounding it, man. I want to see them just keep eating it away, just enforcing their will. Uh, obviously, put some points on the board here. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we need to we need to just keep that balance going. Uh, we need to keep our uh, keep our boys running. Keep them. I mean, just you know, just keep keep pounding it. No. And, uh, as Kirby Smart would say, just keep chopping. That's for sure. You know, That's for sure. Seemed to work out pretty good for them last year. So Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, we come back out in our diamond formation and run it off to the left side and for no gain on the play. Going to come back like out. Possibly lost about six inches on that one maybe. All right. We've got a different quarterback in the game to start the second half. And Cozy Batten's in there taking the snaps with – Knox Ledbetter standing That's on the a, sideline. He's going to come back this away. He's going to uh, cut it up the middle. The ball. No, that's a helmet. My bad. I thought that was the ball loose there. That was a helmet come flying. He, he's made it out to the 40 now. That was a gain of uh, about nine. Good Maybe little, eight there. Good little run there. Think about all those yards he ran horizontally across the field just to pick up those yards. That was, that was JoJo on that one, right? JoJo's helmet came off. I believe Travion had okay, the ball. Okay. I just seen JoJo jogging off from that general area. I wasn't, I wasn't completely sure who had the ball. Uh, we've got a – man, our, our running back room is, is very talented with uh, Rashid Slade and uh, Travion back there. Jjojo totes the ball. Oh, no, oh that's Batten. a quarterback He's got keep. room. Cozy. He's Cozy's got taking room. off up the right sideline. He's got – <laughs> oh, and he's going to get he run out at down. about the 10-yard line. But that was a great play Man. there on that quarterback keep. He had those defensive ends fooled all the way there. They had no idea who had the ball. Boy, that that was a great execution by him. That's that's what you expect out of a senior right there. He may not be the starter. He played a, he played a lot of quarterback last year, but that's, that's exactly what you expect out of a senior right there on that play. Right, and that's – Big play in a big situation to get some momentum going. You got the fans getting back into the game. The sidelines are pumped up now. And Raiders definitely need to punch this in the end zone to get themselves right back in this game. That is for sure. Uh, you would think uh, Berrien County would come out with more fire than what they've had. Uh, of course, they didn't come started on offense. but Travion's going to take that ball right up the middle, and there. he's going to end up yes, in the sir. end zone. Raiders Your Raiders just cut the lead the right in half. So that's going to bring it 12-6. Yes, sir. That is a big opening drive there by the Raiders. That's exactly how you want to come out to start the second half. You talked about Berrien County a little low on energy there. Yeah. Our Raiders are not lacking energy right they, now. They are not lacking it now, and especially I don't see them, I don't see them quitting anytime soon after that. If you watch the coaches down 
right there near the end of warm-ups. They're jumping around, getting the kids fired up. I've seen that for now, the third game straight. Them coaches, they never stop. Uh, this is, a, I would say, a fairly young coaching staff considering what most coaching staff these days age is like. That's in the well, The extra rights. point's going to be good. Heck, yeah. It's going to bring it 12-7 to with your Raiders mounting a comeback here. Berrien County is going to get the ball when we – Come back. We're going to take a short break. We finally found the perfect car in racing blue. You even got them to throw in the LED fog lights for free. Auto owners insures your car because some people never learn to parallel park. That's simple human sense. And we're <laughs> our commercial breaks over. Uh, Cake, Cake doesn't have his headset on yet. Uh, me and Caleb just got assaulted by a plastic football up here yeah, in the man. press box. They just threw that thing right through the window at us. I'm telling you, I mean, I was a defenseless man sitting here drinking a Coke and got a football flying by my face. <laughs> That's dangerous with all this technology up here. They'd be messed something up they had to pay for. I'm telling you. Yeah, that was a very important drive. Uh, I've heard several times on my experience on the field, the first two drives, offensive drives after second half kickoff are the most important of the game. And uh, that one right there was definitely a way to, to punch one in there because he's doing what he does back there in the backfield. Well, when you come out for the second half and you're down by two scores, you got a decision to make. Either you want to get up off the mat and keep fighting or – Fumbled. Stay down. They're going to get him. Nope. Barrion's going to. Oh, they're going to make. Oh, the kick returns miss. making some guys miss. We went from the ball being on the ground to their guy picking it up and having about a 20-yard uh, kick return on the play. That's right. I mean, that's that's what you get when there's uh, athletes on the field, and Barrion County is not short of athletes. Right. Uh, Just small things in the game like that right there. Those 20 yards could make a big difference on this drive. That's for sure. And that's that's another way that Berrien County may get some get some fire in them after that uh, after that return. It's definitely it's definitely uh, routed up the visitor side crowd here. We're gonna see if our defense comes out with the same fire that the offense came out of the half with. I would certainly hope so, considering that most of these guys that are on this in the interior defense here. Meaning in the box, a lot of these guys play both ways. I'm gonna run it uh, off left tackle out the outside. I'm gonna chase him down. A lot of Raiders in the pursuit, but they did not like that. Oh, and we've got a late flag over there on the Berrien County sideline. They did not like that. I didn't see much extracurricular activity there. I didn't see a whole lot either, besides the fact. I mean, they went they went deep in the sideline there, but I didn't see no no. Uh, chips or anything thrown there i'm not sure any anyone was tackled on the place so i'm mm -hmm. not i don't believe it's a late hit i think the mo i mean as close as the sideline is to the fence i mean we're looking at maybe 30 foot at the most right maybe a little more i mean we had three guys on there one the momentum was carrying i mean there's not a whole lot we could do there the umpires are going to Referees here, umpires, referees all over yeah, together. Caleb's over here thinking about our <laughs> baseball game experience. <laughs> they're gonna, they're gonna sort this out. See what we got going on here. I think we've got Coach Wilson down here giving it to the sideline referee right now. That's a hold, a defensive holding. Got a dead ball foul against the Raiders. Obviously had to occur over there on that far sideline. For sure. This is where uh, things like this, if they happen, this is where you have to definitely uh, figure out who is more mentally tough here. When things start to get controversial like that, you have to figure out who's going to shake it off and play the next play and who's going to let it linger. The second half has started off a little bit of a roll. Oh, yes, going to have a big tackle yes, in the backfield there. 
That's a good way to respond to that penalty. Heck yes. Keyshawn Holmes on the tackle there. What's that, a loss of, loss of five? Loss gotta, of six, maybe. Be close to it. Maybe even seven. Ball's, ball spotted at seven for some reason. Think, uh, about, think yeah. about the emotions here so far in the second half. We come out with a big drive. Then we have a muffed kick that results in a 20-yard gain and then a big fit penalty after a play. Followed up with a big tackle in the backfield. Let's see what happens here. Going to have a quick throw out to the far sideline. Guy's going to slip a tackle. I believe he's going to. I'm not sure. We got our down marker over here. There's another flag on this play. I don't know what that's about. I believe they're looking at Coach Wilson. He's signaling to back him up. He sure, he sure is. Uh, there's a lot of penalties happening on their sideline here. Yeah. They're far over there, so we don't really have the best view of what's going on just other than the yellow flying on the field. And they are, they are backing us up again. Oh, man. I believe we just that's got – I believe we just got slapped with a late hit on the play. That's crazy there. Uh, it's bad if we have to, uh, if we got to play the ref here in the second half. It's, it's not going to be tough, that's for sure. Uh, we started out the second half with a bang, and now we're starting to hit that adversity right here. And So how are we going to respond? Like you said a while ago, that mental toughness, now things are not going our way. We're still getting penetration. Running back bounces that outside. He's got to be close to the goal line. Our, uh, our interior D-line is getting the penetration. We're the outside contain is not great right now. That's for sure. Uh, what you got to think, Berrien's probably got all senior wide receivers. Uh, I think we have one senior DB. Maybe two, maybe a, maybe two seniors in the complete secondary. So you're you're that's another oh and he's gonna shed it block. Well, we were there in the backfield and their running back slips out of it and he's gonna end up in the end zone on the play and your Berrien County Rebels have regained the momentum for sure at the moment. It was a whole lot. Uh, we. We were supposed to have that in the backfield. Not exactly sure what happened there. I guess uh, arm tackling may be the problem there. Anytime the action is down near that um, end zone, I cannot see very well. I've got a window sill in my face, a fence, some yeah. railing. I mean, they're going for two here, Barry. It is. Uh, I sound like Yoda just then. They're going to throw it. He is short of the that. end zone, so. The score is going to remain 18 to 7 with Berrien County on top with 8:24 left in the third quarter. We're going to take a small break here. And we're back again. Um, Caleb, I don't know if you like roller coasters or not, but I feel like we just went on one emotionally here. <laughs> For sure. Uh, I'd like to know what the mentalities are on the sideline. Surely they're uh, ready to fight through this. I see a couple of our coaches coaching up on kids. I always love to see that. <laughs> It's weird to refer to them as kids. I was just playing with most of these guys just yeah. just this time last year. And now you think you're a grown man. Let's <laughs> <laughs> kick right to Aiden here. 
He's, he's making a few moves. He's going to cut back right to a host of Berrien County. I believe they're the Rebels, correct? Yes. Uh, they get the ball about the 39-yard line, it appears, maybe 39 and a half. Well, the offense has got to answer as they did the last drive. For sure. We came out, snatched the momentum, and Berrien County just snatched it right back due to some um, – Possibly shooting ourselves in the foot there with those two big flags on the last drive. I, uh, you'd love to see a, a second half shootout here. Where oh, both yeah. teams just tacking on point after point after point. But if it comes down to that and we don't get a couple of stops, or we, we're going to fall just barely short at the end of this game. Uh, Read by Cozy, he flips it outside. Trayvon's got to make a move. He gets a stiff arm. Mm. Oh, and Took Trayvon gets tackled and takes out a referee on the sideline, and he is down. He's completely took the, the, the legs out from under that guy. I think that was the old Russian leg sweep there on the sideline. <laughs> that was that was a that was a move not performed by Trayvon alone. The Barron County DB uh -huh. forced that to happen. Uh, I think I think I seen that move on the karate kid a time or two. Yeah, that was rough there. Um, we're gonna take an official timeout here, and we are gonna go. Well, never mind. Hang on, yep, maybe wait. he's up here. The ref just got up. The adrenaline just kicked in. <laughs> Boy, that was that might be the hardest hit I've seen in the game so far. Not only the initial hit, but when. He landed flat on his back. You know that's his head sure. probably hit the turf. Yeah, that's for sure. And they're probably giving him the concussion check right now. Yeah. Seeing if he's fit to finish the game here. Well, they, did, they didn't give us any yards here on the, the markers. Maybe a few, maybe a yard, if that. Uh, Cozy's still in at quarterback. Knox got a little tangled up here in the last last drive of the second, the first half. Yeah, we have not seen him in the second half yet. It doesn't seem like he'll come back in the game, although he is walking around on the sideline. Another whistle blown. Possibly a false start with it coming from the backfield. Man, there is a lot of laundry on the field to start this second half. Lots. It looks like it's going to be a false start on the Raiders. And back it up to the 35-yard line. Second down, 15 to go. Clock state, 8 7 to go in the third. It is getting uh, fairly loud. Yeah, there is a lot of energy throughout the stadium right now. Fairly loud in this visitor stand. Hand off to JoJo there. He's going to push forward for – oh, man. Whoa. Come on. Oh, my Lord. Had a, had a good old-fashioned wow. suplex out there on that play. And wow. And then he's going to give us the stare down afterwards. Not exactly sure what's, what the boys in the stripes here are doing. Uh, it is definitely one-sided, it appears here. Of course, we do have a slight bias to Bacon County, but any 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 man can see how this is this is turning out here. Hey, you know, I believe JoJo got picked up and slammed like that last week or the week before. He's just that's, got some bad luck right now. That's definitely happened. I don't, I don't believe he'll be trying out for the wrestling team anytime soon. Timeout, Bacon County. We're going to take us a timeout here in the booth. We'll see y'all after the break. You finally found the perfect car in racing blue. You even got them to throw in the LED fog lights for free. Auto owners insures your car because some people never learn to parallel park. That's simple human sense.
keep going. More. No, no! After the break now, uh, Coach Wilson is still giving that head referee a, a earful. Yeah, there is a good conversation taking place down there near the 30-yard line right now. That's for sure. Uh, one thing I like to see with him, he he uh, he does all the vocal fighting for his team. I like to see in the players, they don't get they don't get mouthy, they don't get in each other's faces. I, I like seeing it all come from the head man there. Uh, now. No, he's he's a little old school. I see him walking around. He's still got the flip phone. He'll whip it out. Oh yeah, now the the head referee's calling everybody into a huddle. I don't believe I've ever seen this before. Uh, you know, we we might return to a football game here at some point. Maybe so. I'm tired of seeing yellow out here. Yeah. It's not my favorite color, that's for sure. I guess this is the mid third quarter uh, pump up speech from the referee portion of this ball game. Yeah. Uh, 656 in the third here. It's uh, still 18 to seven. And we are apparently gonna line it up and resume this football game. I hope so. There's a lot of energy now. A lot of anticipation. Good snap, toss out Throw to the sideline. Fuller's got he's it, got some, makes a man miss. Some room. He's pushing forward. He's going to pick up. That's about. He's going to come up about two yards short of the first down there. Gain a 12 on that play. A good fight there by Fuller on the play, though. That's for sure. Make something out of that. A lot of people are probably wondering where his blockers were. Uh, his other receivers around him just run their men upfield. I mean, they just took off. So, I mean, that's probably how they drew it up there. Uh, it is fourth and one. This is a big play big in this play. ball game right now. Good snap up the middle. JoJo's he's, got it. He's definitely. Uh, uh, he, I believe he ran into the back of his offensive lineman. They're gonna, I believe they're going to turn over on downs here. Yeah, it's going to be Berrien County football on the Bacon County 49-yard line. Well, we're going to turn over on downs here. Uh, we'll take a quick break. We'll be back in just a second. Break there as the teams uh, transition. The quarterback by himself in the backfield. He's going to throw this down the far Downfield. left sideline. Oh, uh, the ball's make the play. broken up there. Clean coverage by Austin Reynolds right there. Man, we'll call his name down the field. We call his name in the in the backfield. We call his name on the line of scrimmage. I believe that boy is everywhere on this. Yeah, field. I think he just wants somebody to talk about him. <laughs> that may be the case, but. I mean, at least it's, it's a good thing so far. I know his name got called a lot last week at the end of the, towards the end of the game. Uh, got a change in quarterback for Barry in here. Barry and his rotated quarterbacks all night. Yes. I have a little oh, outside snap. run there, good tackle near the line of scrimmage. Keyshawn coming off the, the boundary edge there. Uh, the quarterback tries to cut up in the lane. Great effort on that play there. 
I just want to see if this game does get to where it's tooth and nail. Who wants it more? That's for sure. And uh, I'm just hoping it's our guys that want it more. I, for certain, this I believe this D-line right here, if they get a few more stops like that, they're going to get fired up. Got a little wide receiver bubble out there. Oh, and he's going to slip a tackle. He's near the first down marker. I think they're going to push him forward, and Berrien's going to pick up that first down. They got some shifty players on their sideline, that's for sure. They make a lot of moves, jukes and jives. We just didn't get our hats out to the ball there quick enough to prevent him from gaining momentum there. That'll be enough for a first down. First down and 10 with 5-0 remaining in the third. Number 88's on the field now. That's the first time I've seen him this game, I believe. Who is that right there, Kevin? That's going to be Isaiah Robinson. He is a freshman. Now off the left tackle run. Host of Raiders there. He's going to pick up a couple yards on that play. Got a man on the ground, slow to get up. That's Keyshawn Holmes. Maybe he was just at the bottom of the pile there. Jim Davis. I will tell you, there's there's a, a lot of fight in these guys this year. And this is a close ball game, and our first two games have been close. And I mean, this That's type of sure. game is no stranger to us so far in the season. That's for sure. Uh, I'm throw a little pass. flare out there to the receiver on the far boundary. He's going to pick up a handful. This is a. Uh, there's been a lot of ball play in this half of the field. In this, in this opening of the third quarter, 419 left. If you wanted to compare this second half to a boxing match, there's been a lot of jabs thrown so far. Heck yeah. It's going to go. Sweep to the left side. And they run to the left side a lot. I don't know if that's a. If there's a defensive weakness they're they're trying to expose or if that's where their strength is or what. But there's a lot of left-handed plays. Yeah, I'm not sure if that's their scheme or just their game plan for the week, but if that is the case, then they are executing it. Uh, Berrien County, their last two games, I had it pulled up here earlier. Oh, and their running back just made us miss a couple times. He's going to. There's a flag on the play around the 20 yard line. It could be a, a boundary holding on the offense here. I think we've either got a hold or a block in the back. I believe this one may be coming back. Yeah, they are yeah, indeed going to bring them back. Flagging it back here. That is big for us. Holding on Barry, and that's a, I believe it's spot foul, so that's going to be 10 at the spot of the foul, so that backs him back up to the 30. Just just a ball length to their side, our side of the 30 there. Ball brought back to the 30-yard line. Defense just has to keep fighting here. We've stopped them a couple times in the ball game on our side of the field, so. It can be done. That's for sure. We made a great stand in the first half. Uh, I hope we can make something like that again. I'm going to uh, swing pass out to the field. Oh, uh, we're the there. We just didn't wrap up. And they are fighting for yardage down there right now. Uh, these boys are not going down easy. Uh, this is a big team. You know, this is one of those drives where it just seems like Berrien County's just trying to way on us and press against us and wear us down a little bit. That's very – second and seven, 2.57, and the clock ticking down now at 2.52. Uh, they're just going to wind this out, I believe, here. And I hope we get possession back in this half. Quarterback's going to keep it run off the left uh, side. We are going to wrap him up, but he does fall oh, forward sorry. there. Maybe a gain of three or four on that one, I believe. Down close to the 20 yard line. That brings up third down. 
my, my technology is not wanting to load now. I was going to you know, pull up some stats here. but thing about technology, man, is when you need it to work, it always seems to come up a little short. That's for sure. Kate, it's hard to find good help. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've said that a couple times tonight. Of course, people listening to this broadcast might be saying the same thing. Or or that might just be when Brent's on here. I'm not maybe sure. Maybe so. Maybe so. <laughs> I hope he watches it back and hears that. QB oh, man. Keep, oh. They're going to get him down, but I don't believe – I believe he he definitely picked up the first down on that one. I think he's inside the 10. Yep. Maybe just a hair shy of the 10-yard line. Huh? So, Berrien County seems to be opening up bigger and bigger holes here. They've still got a first down on the one-yard line. You, you don't like to see that. Yep. They've got two receivers out left here. Run off the left side. We're starting to slow that down just a hair, but they're still picking up steady yards on that on them left-handed plays there. Well, starting to slow it down, but the bad thing is they're getting a little closer to the end zone. Every time. Looking at second and six, ball on the seven-yard line, 110 in the third quarter here. Berrien going to – the far hash. Got a bit of a jumbo set, really, to the left. Quarterback's going to pull it. roll out to the right here. He's going to uh, throw it. And it's oh, bad. and that pass broken is going to be broken up, up at the Cawthorn. last second there. Right there, that was a nice play by that guy, Aiden Cawthorn. Covered a lot of ground there in a short amount of time. That's for sure. We're now looking at third and six, uh, 57.1 seconds left. This would be a huge stop. Well, with Berrien County, this is this is one of the two downs they have left. We, we watched them try to kick the extra point at the first score they had. It was not impressive. Uh, handoff uh, outside, gonna he's a, gonna walk in. They're gonna run a little sweep there and there is no one out there. Berrien County is going to tack on six more there and make it 24 to seven here with 51 seconds left in the third quarter. I would expect they go for two here. Uh, not 100% sure, but they tried it last time. You no, know, that was just one of those grinded out drives right there. That's for sure. Really, if you're if you're on the defense right there, then you were just tired. The worst thing about it is, is a lot of these defensive players uh, have to play the other side of the ball. And uh, it's where you, it all comes down to who wants it the most. We, we can say that about this the whole time. Uh, eye formation under center. I don't believe he got it. Did he get it? Well, they're acting like he got in, so that's going to make it 26-7 now with Berrien County leading. Yes, sir. Here late in the third quarter. Well, we're going to take a quick break here. We'll be back in just a second. You've dreamed about the perfect house, a place to call your own, and a place to not only stretch out, but to grow. Auto Owners protects your house because to you, it's home. That's simple human sense. Happy to help, man. I was just over there talking to myself anyway. Back in now. Barion's going to kick off the bacon here after the score. 26 to 7. This right here is one of them drives where you're going to see what your team's made of. Down three scores here in the third quarter how bad do you want it and nothing's, it's not, nothing's impossible with this game it, and it's not only making the full comeback but you know just how close can you get it and show how much fight you have left in you that is for sure it's another pooch kick high That's over the head that may touch the 
He's gonna scoop it up and run. There's a lot of open open gaps there. He's gonna shed one tackle and keep fighting for more. We got a pile up there at around the 20 yard line. The officials finally blow it dead. Back near the five yard line, brought back We're looking at 39.8 seconds here, maybe possibly two plays left in the third quarter. And here it gets to the point where our offense seems to be built around the run. Well, you're down three scores with basically a quarter left, so you got to move and move quick. You need yards and bunches right here. A, uh, a chunk play here definitely changes the mood just a hair. I would think a uh, big, big play here changes the mood of this game. Coming out, drop throwing. back and pass. He's gonna throw it to JoJo. He's got plenty of room to oh, run. Oh, he's got a blocker in front. If he can, oh, and he's gonna he gets get it down past brought the 50 down. yard line. And that's one of them chunk plays you like to see right that there. Is, that is the type of big play you need to start the drive. One of our boys slow to get up over there, and that looks like Aiden Wright. I say that right. Yes. Okay. Just making sure. Yeah, that's Aiden Wright. Slow to get up over there. Kind of jog a little limp to the sideline. Cozy still in at quarterback. Uh, they may be resting Knox, considering this is a non-region game. They may be resting him for later on. Got trips down here on the left. We were successful with this formation in the first half. Cozy's going to keep it. Quarterback keep. Hold on. He's going to pick up about seven yards on the play, and I believe that's going to be the final play of the third quarter. So we're going to head to the fourth quarter with your Raiders down 26 to 7. We're going to stay tuned to see if they can mount this comeback. While the Raiders take a break here to start the fourth quarter, we're going to go off and we'll be right back. You've dreamed about the perfect house, a place to call your own, and a place to not only stretch out, but to grow. Auto Owners protects your house because to you, it's home. That's simple human sense. Uh, happy to help, man. I was just over there talking to myself anyway. break is over uh, here to start the fourth quarter this is where uh this is where you find out really how much you have in the tank uh i mentioned the kick we saw a couple of their guys getting stretched in the huddle over there and this is where you empty the tank also That's whatever sure. you have left you let it all out right here still got trips to the field i'm gonna, gonna flick throw it, it out to the running back Richardson. Travion's going to cut up. He's not running out of bounds. He's looking to make contact with somebody. Picks up a first down for the Red Raiders. We are marching down the field. I love the way it's looking so far. You know, we need about four or five more plays just like that right here, and we'll be in the end zone. Or, you know, if we want to just cover all 34 yards in one play, we'll take that too. That's where the – Momentum changes as in them chunk plays. I mean, you're a chunk play and a turnover away from being right back in this game. That's for sure. Uh, timeout Barry in here. I'm tired of taking breaks, so we're just going to stay stay rolling here, kick. Yeah. Uh, 
So, getting away from this game, are you excited to watch the dogs tee it up tomorrow or what? Man, I'm, I'm going to be hitting the road from Alma, I'm going back to Tifton for an event over at ABAC College. Uh, I'll probably be tuning in on the radio because they start about the same time I'll be hitting the road. So, I'm excited to hear what they got going on. I think uh, – I think the first quarter may be a little sloppy. I hope not. I hope as a national title team we come back and we're firing all all, all cylinders. Man, it, it's uh, just going to sound good to hear your defending national champion, Georgia that's Bulldogs. For sure. That's for sure. Uh, hopefully we can replicate that success again that this be, year. That would be very nice. But, you know, winning a championship is hard. Defending a championship is even harder. harder. That's for sure. Uh, I'm looking forward to facing our former defensive coordinator, uh, Dan Lennon, he's up in Oregon. Uh, Georgia has uh, – most of these guys are not unfamiliar with Oregon's starting quarterback and Bo Nix, who played for Auburn for several years. Oh, we've got a – Cozy going to lateral that QB back. Keep in a lateral. We're going to pick up, I believe, another first down there. I believe so. We're past the 20 now. We are moving. Uh, I believe he could have kept that for himself and made just about the yeah. same yardage for sure, but – I believe we were going to have a positive there one way or the other. Uh, that play right there seems to be working for us. We've run it several, several times. But uh, back to the Georgia team. Uh, I'm looking forward to see seeing what they got to offer. Uh, I'm ready to see our defense, ready to see, uh, see how our offense is going to do. Uh, going to see some new faces out there, see who can make a name for themselves. That's for sure. I'm looking forward to seeing that tight end. What, what was his name? We brought Bowers. Yes, yes, that, that big fella there. Darnell Washington. Oh, Rick Gilbert. Cozy's going to fake the guy out, and he's going to take gonna it right up the middle yes, into the sir. end zone. Touchdown, Red Raiders. There's one of those big plays we Love were talking about that. coming at just the right time. Great read by the senior right there. That's going to put it in 13 to 26. We're going to try to tack on the extra point right here. I believe Cozy might have hit the guy with a fake pitch there. And I believe he, he was, did. got lost in space. Just powered his way into the end zone there. You know, Cozy's pulled out some moves tonight that I'm not sure. I don't remember him having in his bag, so to speak. <laughs> oh, well, that's off-season training. Uh, that's when you want to play, by gosh, you come up with ways to play. Good snap, good hold. The kick is up, and it looks good. Yeah, we've got a good kick. It's going to add on the extra point there, 14 to 26. The, the, point, the point after attempt is good. And I tell you, it's, it's harder to see whether it's good or not from this angle than you would think it would be. That's for sure. That's for sure. You, know, you say being in the press box is the best seat in the house, but at certain points looking at an angle is not good. Right, right. Well, we're going to transition here. Uh, going to look off the kickoff, and we're going to take a quick break. Caleb asked me if I was ready to come back on the air. Talk to me, Goose. <laughs> uh, nice top, <laughs> top gun refers there. I like that. Uh, Raiders getting ready to kick it off, and it is the man, the myth, the legend, Cozy. Do it all himself. You know, he's going to be able to add some plays to his highlight tape after this game. He's starting to sound a lot like Taysom Hill for the Saints. I mean, yeah. <laughs> he just does it all. You know, I seen a thing one time said, what position does Taysom Hill play? Football. Yeah. <laughs> That's for sure. I believe their official name is utility players. <laughs> and they – Cozy's definitely won. Oh, we're going to have an onside kick here. Oh. Did it go We've Did it go 10 it. yards because Josh we've got it picked up and you're – He's still on his feet. We are past the 40. Your Raiders have all of the momentum right now in this ball game. Coaches are fired up. Players are fired up. Fans Man, are fired crazy. up. Caleb's face is not quite as red as I thought it would be, but 
We're in good shape. Oh, yes. Got Coach Beecher up here. You've probably heard him on the broadcast a few times. He's into the action. I mean, That's for sure. It's Everybody's a, on their feet. It's a good environment down there. So with 10 minutes and 45 seconds left in this ball game, your Red Raiders are right there in it. We've, we've definitely put this Berrien County team on their heels here in the past three minutes. No, I said earlier there was a lot of jabs being thrown. I think we might have thrown a haymaker, and it sure seems like it connected. 10.45 left in the fourth quarter. It's 14 to 26. Ball's at the 42. Offense is on the field. So now the cozy batting goes from a successful onside kick to now he is taking the snap at quarterback. That's for sure. These players are getting in it. They love the fans. That sound the fans you hear is the them. sound of the Red Raider fans. We're ready for it right here, I tell you. Also, a side note, I want to say comparing their fans to ours, we might have around the same amount here tonight. We're going to have a pre-snap penalty here. I think that's going to be on one of our receivers also. Yep, that's your dad. No, 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 don't say that. Not on the air, not like that. <laughs> Golly. <laughs> got to love these. Got to love these fans, man. They get into it. I'm glad the Raiders are competing again. Uh, the last games were close. The last game was by one point. There's that same play again, just uh, off the hands there, just barely. Got to zone back in here. Got to get that laser focus back. Little, little off the rails there on that last play. This is a huge drive for the Raiders. Second and 15, the ball's on the 47-yard line. Uh, we're deeply behind the chains here. Uh, we are second and 15 here. Right. Let's see what we can do here. We still got we got trips to the ball's in the middle of the field pretty much. I would say trips to the boundary, but oh, we got it. Oh. Austin. What just happened? Co Cozy was looking down the field. I'm, I believe he went to throw it and brought it back down to tuck in, and the ball slipped out of his hands, and Berrien County recovered it. What's the call here? Are they going to call a fumble or incomplete pass? I'm not sure if they're going to have a conversation about it or not. I know our coaches are campaigning for an incomplete pass. I was, I was looking away there. I was trying to find some. Stats here. They're gonna give it. They're gonna give Barry and County the football. That is one of those momentum plays right there. That is for sure. Uh, We'll see if our defense can make a huge play right here. There's still 10 minutes and 30 seconds left in this ball game. A little running back Trying sweep, to make a out. sweep outside. We've got a right. lot of Raiders there. Oh, we're we going to bring him down. down for a Big loss in loss the backfield. There. That might be around a loss of nine there in the play. He was way back there. It's probably, it's definitely. Over five yards, I believe. This this is where uh, our defense has been strong these past two games. This is where they bow our neck and keep us in this right here. We had a great great kickoff return on that onside kick attempt. A few things went wrong. Now we're back. Barron County has the ball. Defense has to make the stand. Running up the middle. Take it. We st he's still shy of the original line of scrimmage. Yeah, he's he going to pick up about, up about four or five on the play. But that's going to bring up third and long here. He didn't even pick up five. He picked up about three. It's third and 13 now. Ball's on the 45, 9, 20 left in the fourth quarter. And the ball is 
Straight up the middle of the field here. We got two receivers out to the far side. They're coming in closer to the line of scrimmage. They're stacked up. He's dropping back to pass. He's swinging oh. it out to the running back. He's got wide open room. That is a good play there. Can we get him up? He's going to make a guy miss. He's going to tote it right into the end zone. Well, that was a that was a that was drawn up. That was deep in the playbook. Yep. That was back page stuff. I believe we our backside got out of position there, and there was no one there to contain the running back. And that's going to bring your score 32 to 14 with Berrien County in front here with 8:48 remaining in this ball game. You know, we talked about a roller coaster of emotions in the last five minutes. We've certainly experienced another one. That's for sure. We hit them with the haymaker, and then they come back with another right jab to the chin. And you know, didn't earlier in the second half we mention a second half shootout? Yeah, I, I did do that. There, there is a that's lot of sure. action happening here. This is a different ball game, that's for sure. No, Caleb, I think you should have specified which team was going to experience the I, shootout. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't specify either one. I just said there was going to be some fireworks. That's all I said. That's a timeout burying here. That gives them one left. They were lined up there for two-point conversion. I guess our boys off the field here. Just a second. Let them recuperate, see what's going on here. We're going to take a 30-second timeout on broadcast. You finally found the perfect car in racing blue. You even got them to throw in the LED fog lights for free. Auto owners insures your car because some people never learn to parallel park. That's simple human sense. Keep going, more. No, no! We're back right on time here from a Brandon County point after a chimp here. They're lined up back in that strong eye formation again. You know, I think they might have given up on point after attempts after the first one. Probably so. Uh, he's going to keep it and sling it out right there to the end zone, and that's another. He is wide open. Two points right there for. It's going to bring it to 34 to 14 here with time dwindling away here in the fourth quarter. We're going to take just another quick break right here before we swap sides. We'll be back in a break. We are back here, 8:48 in the fourth quarter. Uh, they just they just gave the Barron County kicker the ball to place. Uh, expect another pooch kick here right here, but I would not shy away from them trying to onside and get the ball back and tack on one more here. You I know would, when the momentum's in your favor. I would highly expect that. When the momentum is in your favor, you tend to control the game. And Berrien County has it at their disposal right now. Right, he's going to kick it like he usually does. Uh, we catch it in the air. He's got some room to make a move here. He's still on his feet. We've got we've got a good return out to the 45-yard line. Great return by that young man there. He has no quit in him. 45, 46-yard line. That's Travion Richardson there with that kick return. And he is... Sure. This game is not over in his mind. <laughs> I 
know, the band out here playing some good tunes right now. I was about to say, that's, that's like your era, though, ain't it? Aren't we from the same era? I'm not sure, are we? Uh, are, we are we the same generation? Uh, yes, I'm actually Gen, uh, Gen Z. Well, see, I don't keep up with those things. So. See, you got millennials and then Gen Z. Millennials were the memes here back in a, back a while back, right? Right. JoJo's out here making some guys miss some little swing pass. Well, yes. I love how this O-line, even as young as they are, they're continuing to find somebody to hit. They they are fighting. There is a lot of good contacts still going on out there on that field. They, they may not be laying anybody out, but they're finding somebody to get in the way. They are, they're, as long as these outside players, these, these the grass fairies, as we like to call them <laughs> in the O-line world, as long as these these uh, these quick guys keep making moves, I love how this O line staying with them. I've seen them push the pile a few times. They're they're continuing to block. There's a ball way overthrown by that Casey there. Sell out of bounds there. Intended for Aiden Cotton. You know, I believe Parker Hand has played every snap at center tonight, and with this being his first start, I, you know, you haven't noticed him, and that's a good thing in the yeah, world of sure. offensive linemen. You know, I will say I, I noticed the young fella earlier. He's he's uh, he's always been the first on the field. I love to see that. Uh, he's constantly kept that O line together. I've not seen one knock on wood. I've not seen it, a bad snap yet. I've seen some mishandled ones. I've not seen a bad. Uh, and had a, oh, I'm so sorry. Had a high, a little high snap there, mishandled in the backfield and the unfortunate part for Caleb was there was no wood for him to knock on and so you guys can blame that on him I'm sorry guys I'm uh, sorry if you need to reach him I will give him I will give you his contact information <laughs> oh. good thing this ain't live I might have made some people mad just yeah now. you know anybody watches this afterwards and it might come looking for you Man, I was trying to say a good thing about the kid. Yeah. He's, he's only a sophomore. This is a this is a big step for him here, filling in for a, a senior. Cozy going to throw one downfield into coverage. That's going to be picked off by the Barron County defense. They bring him down out there at the 25-yard line. Yep. With 6.56 left in this ball game, Barron County is going to get the ball on – Around their 26-yard line, I have to wait for the announcer in the press box to yell it out because we did not have a good vantage point up here. Now these are the situations where uh, these players tend to start having poor body language. Uh, and surprisingly, out of Coach Wilson's team, there's not a whole lot of that going on. There's a, you can pick out a few players, but uh They're running up the middle here. Demo Riley. Running in there behind Jaden Richardson, Nathan Scheller. There's those moments where you want to see the team continue to play hard and make plays. Yes. That's a rebel first down. You don't want to see them just give up. They fall hard in this second half. This second half has been a ball game in itself. This second half has been fun to watch. This, this has been intense. Uh, love seeing them compete. I know the, the score line does not give them justice for the plays they have made, for the field position they've had. I'd like to see the stats after the game in total offense, total yards. We've got a QB keep there outside the right tackle down to the boundary. Here comes, here comes Mr. Johnson. Yeah. Right he's about to get on to us. Yeah, he's going to come tell us how well of a job we've been doing up here. That's for sure. Can't close that door any harder. Yeah. <laughs> Looking at second and five, ball on the 41. 550 left in the fourth quarter. Another run up the middle. I believe Barrion's going to try to chew up some clock here. That's for sure. They, they got to get. They got to have at least one first down to keep to keep this drive alive here, though. They've definitely given us plenty of opportunities. I don't think they want to keep giving us the ball, so they're probably going to try to sit on it. 
if they do have to punt here, though, we're looking at getting the ball maybe around the, what, the 20-yard line, considering the last punt we've seen out of Barron County. Right. Uh, which is not ideal for us, but worst-case scenario for Barron, they, they, they put us back in a kind of a hole, and that's going to get the first down for them. He's going to stall, yep. pick up an extra few yards there. He bounces right. outside, but we've still – Still got guys flying on to the ball. Now you see that number one for the Red Raiders right there, uh, Mr. Richardson. He is on the field and he is fired up. And he he wants he wants the ball back. He, he's he's doing everything he can right now. It seems like he just likes to play football. You love to see that out of a young fellow like him. He's only a sophomore. He played hard last year. He's playing hard this year. He's He's gonna be good. He's he's already good. He's gonna. I hope he's. I hope he's great. Quarterback keeper here on. Oh, oh man, you got Trent. Myquavius O'Neal oh, yes. shedding blocks and. Man, they look a lot alike out there, don't they? Yeah, he just rocked a running back in the backfield. That might have been the quarterback, the quarterback on the keep. There. That was a good play there. Forty-six yard line. Second down. Twelve yards to go. Barion just taking their time, knocking the clock down to about four minutes left now, second and 12. Yeah, I think that's their whole plan right now, just take as much off that clock as they can. Uh, he's going to hand it off outside. He's not going to get around Travion. He's going to sling him down on the far sideline. County's not giving it to them, that's for sure. No, you've got you've got season. some guys still competing out there. Travion has been in since the start of this defensive uh, this defensive possession time here. I was gonna say defensive drive, but the defense really doesn't go anywhere. <laughs> uh, he's not he's not missed the snap yet. He's out there. He's he was every snap of the offense just then. Deep ball intercepted. Uh, that's Aiden Coffin with the interception. He's going to bring it out. He's going to try to make the sideline. Near line. side line. Arm there. He's, he's gonna, still on his feet. He's going to break a tackle, and they're ripping his jersey off, and he finally gets brought down at the Berrien, around the Berrien 36. Now we've got the ball back here. Let's see if our offense can't punch it in right here in one plate. Or maybe a one-two jab here. We keep referring to boxing here. We just keep it going. Yeah. Well, usually we be took a break by now, but there's not any time to take a break. Well, you know, I think we've taken enough breaks tonight. I mean, <laughs> we're just gonna ride out this last two minutes and 57 seconds in this in this ball game, and you may expect a, even with it being three minutes, almost three minutes left, you may see a, a two-minute offense here, the hurry-up offense out of these guys. We executed that in the first half decently well. Cozy's going to keep it. QB keep Lost his helmet. Cozy, yep. They're going to blow it dead. What they got to do there, that's keeping these boys safe. And he's got to come out for a play now, right? Yeah, Unless we I call believe so. They're going to put – I'm not sure who's going to take the snap at quarterback right quarterback here. Quarterback coaches coaching up Aiden right now. That's Aiden Coffin coming in as the quarterback right yeah, now. Yeah, he's taking off the receiver gloves here, so we're going to see what he's got. Let's see what we got going on here, and this is going to be interesting, that's for sure. And we're going to get a timeout. Getting intense right here. There's a lot going on, that's for sure. This is definitely entertaining. Tried to pull Knox in, he limped on, and Wilson turned him down. 
least you know, you know he was ready to take the battle right there. You know, I've seen Knox in the second half with his injury and not being able to go back in the game. And he, he's been down on the sideline, walking around, moving around, talking to his teammates, keeping them in the game, motivating them. I mean, you know, you want your quarterback to be a leader. And Knox has shown some of that leadership here in the second half on the sideline. That's for sure. You love to see that out of him as a sophomore. Uh, he's going to be a great leader. He's going to. He's. I'm, I feel like with this group he's got here, he's going to. He's going to take them pretty far. I feel. Yeah. You got a snap there to 13, which is going to be the freshman Michael Dixon. Now, Cozy can come back in the game. See if he can't keep this offense rolling here. Yep. We're looking at 228 left. Clock is ticking. Down to 220 now. Arian's band is certainly loud right now. Got a little jumble up there in the backfield. JoJo's going to eventually take the carry and get brought down around the line of scrimmage. They're going to give him the first down on the play. With a minute 52 left here in the ball game with the Raiders trailing 34-14. He'd love to just see us tack on one more score here. Just one of them consolation, consolation touchdowns here just to prove that we did not give up on this game. Barron County still has their starters out there too. I'll let you, just in case anybody didn't, couldn't see that. He's, a lot of room there. I don't know that he's going to get as far as he had in the past. You know, we've seen Fuller catch a handful of passes tonight, and I think coming into the game he didn't have a reception yet, so it's been good for him to get involved in the action this week. That's for sure. I like the simplicity of our offense and how simple we've been. Uh, definitely playing hurry up right now. Down to one, one fifteen. Clock's ticking. Now that trips from formation has been successful tonight for us. That's for sure. There it is in the middle. Uh, I think they're going to call him. Pass is complete. Yep. Down complete pass. 17. A little short slant there. Clock is winding down. We're in the final seconds now. The Coach Raiders. Wilson's going to call a timeout. I believe, I believe Coach Wilson's now. looking at this as a good so point to go. practice some game situations inside the game. You know, if you, if you hear to, some thrashing around in the background here in a few seconds, that's going to that's gonna be me officially putting Brent in the nursing home. <laughs> He's trying to steal our jobs. We, yeah. may be, we may be hired on full time after this. You know, it's crazy how he, he's been doing this for years, and, I mean, we're relatively new, and we're better than he could have ever dreamed of being. Mr. Brent does a great job of what he does. He's got some good students that, that buy into this this program and help him out. Yes, I was at one point one of those students that, you know, had him every year of my high school career. And, and now you talk all this smack about him? That's crazy. Well, you know, I, I grew up. And That's for sure. Cozy on the quarterback keep doesn't go very far. I think he's going to get a couple out of that. What is going on here? I'm not sure. We've got people yelling and whistles blowing and flags on the field and anything else under the sun, it appears. Man, these, these final seconds and both these halves have been the longest of the game. I mean, it's almost like the game just doesn't want to end or go on. I'm telling you, man. Penalty on Barry, and I'm not even sure what the call was. I didn't see it. I'm not sure, but it's going to benefit the Red Raiders. 
personal foul. That makes I it first down and go from the eight yard line. I hope we just punch it in here. We've got it. We've got another timeout in our pocket, I do believe. No, no, we've burned all our timeouts. Saying we're all out. That pass is going to be deflected at the line of scrimmage. Forty-three seconds Stops the clock. It's going to be second and go. On the eight. We say the final seconds. We mean the final minutes because. Or they, hours, they, I don't know. It's, forever. it's still to be determined here. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I didn't bring a pillow or anything with me to the game tonight. That's for sure. And that that uh, ball's going to skip in there to the receiver, so I believe. It's Still bring got us, two more downs here. Yep, that's going to bring us the third down here. The question is, is do we go for the, the three points Jackson, and fourth down, or do we try and, and get the touchdown here? What would you do, Kick? Well, it's a two-fold coin here. On one hand, you can run it in for a touchdown and get more points you know, on the board in terms of six, or you sure. can attempt the field goal, which I don't think we've attempted a field goal this year. I don't um, believe we've attempted a field goal. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, we're looking to throw. Oh, he's he's got got, oh and your receiver's going to fall down over there near the pylon. Still got 35 seconds left in this ball game. No, at this point, I feel like the clock is increasing instead of decreasing. Very possible. And it looks like Cozy's going to stay on the field. The offense is going to stay on the field. It's fourth, fourth down. I believe the ball has not moved, so we're, we're yeah. just going to try and punch it in here. I feel like we're in some weird twilight zone of football out here right now with all of the happenings that have been going on throughout this ball game. Cozy looking uh, to throw deep throw fade. There. Oh, that's and that's going to be incomplete. out the back of the end zone and not brought in. So 30 Berrien, seconds left. Berrien County is going to get the ball back. 30 seconds remain. They could uh, just one knee here, and that is the ball game. But, but you know, somehow, we'll see what's happening here. somehow they'll manage to run like eight plays right here in 30 seconds. That's very possible. They'll be, they'll be 14 flags, and somehow each team will gain three more timeouts, and yeah. we'll be here a lot All longer. Long. about you, but I can definitely hear our cheerleaders and band from right here still cheering on the Raiders. There's a there's a, a good many of fans still left in these stands, and i uh, love to see that. I've got to say, I feel like the band and cheerleaders have done a good job this year so far, um, just keeping our guys motivated, keeping the fans engaged. Uh, this is not a victory formation here. No, this is um, – Pretty sure that's still their starters in the game, and we'll see what kind of play they run here. Uh, and there's going to be a flag on the play pre-snap. <laughs> you called that kick. You're the one that did that. It's all right, guys. We'll, uh, we'll go home at some point tonight. At some point. Mr. Brent keeps looking over our shoulder. He's ready to go home. Yeah. No, it's past his bedtime, so <laughs> he gets a little cranky. Yeah, <laughs> no, he's he's used to being tucked in the bed, reading the book by now, and whatever else he does these days, that's, I don't know. That's the knee there. They took a victory formation, and that's the ball game. Barry in 34, your Red Raiders 14. Yeah. I believe we're at home with Atco next week, correct? Yes, we are. All righty, that that'll wrap it up.